calling for the head of Kanu and Boko while saying this guy should not be investigated. Honestly, it can do that. It will affect our, our credibility. Uh, what we are saying is if, I mean, personally, some people asked me, and my response was that if he actually knows he is innocent, he should just fly to US. They are not as crazy as the criminal system, uh, justice system is not, is, is not as uh, crazy as ours. They would do it just, uh, just shamefully. And if he is uh, in, found innocent, he can even claim damages. Maybe that's how he'll get rich. But for us here to sit and say this guy was no good, that is good. Honestly, it's, it's, uh, it's pedestrian. But if he is guilty, if he cannot prove his innocence, these guys are able to prove their case against him. Uh, we should welcome that development because we cannot have someone who is not clean, trusted with the security of our lives and property. So honestly, I don't see any reason why people would even talk. I don't, that's my personal opinion. I don't see why people should, if, if this guy is not afraid, he should go there. And you see, uh, I believe all this noise will not stop the U.S. court from going ahead with the trial and convicting him in absentia. And that will uh, worsen the situation for him. They will confiscate all his properties abroad and get him arrested by the FBI sometimes. Maybe when he's not even in the police force. I don't think uh, the community should cover up for someone who is accused. Uh, which is why we, as coalition of Northern Groups, have fought not because of tribalism or ethnicity. Have, we have fought that and insisted that Kanu and Iboho should be prosecuted. Uh, we even challenged uh, Southern Groups for even showing sympathy. So I don't think the laws would be justified to show sympathy for somebody who is who, who they want to investigate. We should just hand him over. Besides, we can't even stop it. We're just making noise. These guys are, are more organized than we are. Yes. <laughs> so they, if they like, they go through diplomatic channels, put pressure on government, and before you know it, this guy will be in New York. <laughs> <laughs>